Stevie J from AngryMarks.com here, and for those wondering, here's what happened at UFC 171 last night. Johnny Hendricks beat Robbie Lawler. Unanimous decision, 48-47 across the board. A very close fight, but the fifth round probably made the difference. Hendricks is your new UFC welterweight champion, and the next guy he'll face is Rory McDonald. Also at welterweight, Tyrone Woodley defeated Carlos Condit. TKO via a knee injury two minutes into the second round, which is unfortunate because not a lot of people are giving Woodley credit for a good fight right now, where he was actually taking Condit down and neutralizing his offense in the first round. So, really, I think Woodley might have gone on to win that fight either way, but now people think Condit would have come back in the second or the third if it weren't for the knee injury. What are you going to do about that? At least there was no doubt with Miles Jury and Diego Sanchez, and I gotta say, I called that one wrong, because I thought Diego still had something left in the tank. He did not. This was a unanimous decision, 30-27 times 2, and 29-28 all for Jury. Hector Lombard defeated Jake Shields, and when you're wrong, you might as well admit you're wrong, because I thought Shields would just go out there and frustrate him, but Lombard hit takedown after takedown after takedown and took this fight. 30-27 times 2, and again, 29-28. At least I got open safe Prue right. He beat Nikita Krylov via Von Flew choke. Not the way I thought he would win, but he won. Prelims on Fox Sports 2. Kelvin Gastelum defeated Rick Story via split decision. There was a 28-29 and a 29-28 and a 30-27, so these scores were all over the map. And it's probably good for Gastelum that he won since he had problems making weight. You, yeah, you know if you lose and you didn't make weight, your career is on the path to nowhere's bill in UFC. <sighs> Jessica Andrade defeats Raquel Pennington via split decision. Gonna have to rewatch this fight and see if I still think that's right. Uh, scores were 29-28, 28-29, and 29-28. Dennis Bermudez defeats Jimmy Hedda's TKO. And that was 257 of the third round. Ellis Garcia got a split decision over Sean Spencer. That I did think was the right call, uh, the decision going to Garcia anyway. 29-28, 28-29, 30-27. As you can see, these scores were really all over the map with the judges in Texas. Francisco Trevino defeated Henny Forch. 29-28 across the board. And Scoggins defeated Will Camposano, probably one of the best fights of the night. 30-27 across the board. Scoggins just looked great the entire fight. Frustrated Camposano from start to finish. Sean Strickland defeated Bubba McDaniel. Real quick rear naked choke, 433 of the first round. And Robert Whiteford defeated Danny Pineda, 30-27 and 29-28 times two. So that's UFC 171. I'm Stevie J.